Hello, fellow commanders. My name is Titus Valspar, and I'm here to talk a little bit about uh, Empires and Allies, which is um, a game that I picked up a couple months ago and it really kind of taken by the horns. Um, as you can see here, um, just about ready to finish training. Um, I have what's referred to as the command and control vehicle. Now, the command and control vehicle unlocks once you get to headquarter 14, uh, which I completed just a couple of days ago. And here you're going to see um, a helicopter fly in my command and control vehicle. There he is, sitting there, ready for me to take him into action. Um, so let's go ahead and take a look at the command and control vehicle a little bit, his statistics. He's really cool, a really cool vehicle to use. Um, a huge bonus is he increases the damage that um, any allying troops put out, which is basically the same effect that you get out of the combat stim. Now, the downside is they don't move quite as fast, but hey, when you hit a whole 50% harder, you really can't complain much. The other thing that's really cool about the command and control vehicle is that it can hack into enemy defensive buildings, which is really fun to kind of watch. And I'm going to take you to an attack that I did recently against a level 51. As you may have seen I'm at a, I'm at a 42. Um, Didak from the Balian Allies Alliance. Let's go ahead and take a closer look at his base here for a moment. Now, as you'll see, he has basically everything stacked up over here. Um, towards the west side of his base. He's got his, uh, his weapon command, his war factory, and his research agency over here towards the east. But everything else, all of his resources and his artillery, his patriots, um, his metal rain, which he's got over there in the corner, they're all sitting over here surrounding his base. Now, most people at this point would probably, upon looking at him in a quick match, would probably turn away um, just because of the sheer difficulty and stacking of all of his towers there. But I'm going to show you um, what happened when I took a crack at his base. So we'll go ahead and open up my battle log again here, and we'll hit the replay. So my initial thoughts coming into this attack were to uh, hit him from the west side. Um, so I dropped an A-10 there to soften up his defenses and then went in and cleaned up with a Hellfire and got 8 command points back off of that. Um, I spent 8 and I got 8 back so that's a pretty good little deal. And here I'm going to bring in an orbital strike to clean up a little bit more. Um, that orbital strike was free because my base currently has an ion cannon built there. And here I'm going to pay another 10 command points to take out another artillery and a Patriot missile. To engage. Let's do it. Well, that was a defensive tower. That was my, my mistake. So here you can see my command and control vehicle kind of latched on there. Um, before it was taken out by the rest of my troops, but it started to inflict friendly fire upon the Apaches there, which I think is just kind of funny. I can only imagine what people would think if this was due to real circumstances. Now, the danger with the command and control vehicle um, is that he, he's not incredibly expensive um, to pay for or to set up. But he takes a long time to train. So 
a good strategy with him is keeping him as far away from those towers as you can, uh, unless you're sure you can get close to one and uh, latch onto it and take control hack hack into the defense. So, so here you're going to see that I take him around and I'm going to start inflicting a little bit of damage with that metal ring, uh, take it away from my troops. Throwing down some speed boosts as I need, some combat stims on the others. So my forces are pretty slim at this point. There you can see I messed up, but I'm going to have my command and control vehicle latch on there. Takes out the other artillery, frees up the rest of my troops from being under fire. And at this point, it's just clean up. I've got 35 seconds left, um, but I can easily make it to everything else, just speed up to get you through the rest of this here, and there you have it. So as you can see, um, this attack went rather successfully for me. Uh, one thing you, you can't really see here is I did have all five of my strike forces applied out, uh, which definitely provided a huge advantage. Um, I did take... Uh, a pretty heavy hit, 70 out of 90 troops, but the payoff is very well worth it. So that's the basic tutorial over my personal thoughts of the command and control vehicle, and I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope to see you again in the future.